Francis and I'm going to make this Francis down with you. Let's go. When we last left off, we programmed the website to allow members of the site to request friendship from one another. And in programming this cool feature, we opened up a doorway to hell in which foul beasts from the underworld can sneak through and attack our website by forging form submissions. We're going to attempt to make a token that's going to make sure that the requests are coming from our site and everything is on the up and up with security for the profiles. Okay, here's what we're going to do to get this token. First, we're going to establish a new session variable called Whippet. Now, this Whippet session variable is going to have a random number put into it and then it's going to be base64 encoded and these are both PHP functions base64 does a low-level encryption random number using these arguments I can get a random number between this one and that one which will be a pretty big random number so first thing we do is we check to see if is not set the session variable of whippet then we register that session variable called whippet. We want to do that just in case somebody comes to the page and they don't have a uh, session variable for whippet set yet. We set it for them. If they do have it set, this line won't run. And the session variable called whippet will just get overwritten with this value here, which is the base64 encryption. Like I said, very low level encryption on this random number. Then we go down to the JavaScript form where it posts to the URL we specified that request as friend .php, remember? And all I did was I added a new variable called this random number and we're echoing out that random number right there as a string. And then I added one more variable to go along with mem1 ID and mem2 ID it's called this whippet and it has a value of this random number this way inside of request as friend.php which is the parse file where people will be trying to attack your site through they'll try to post variables directly to this parse to this parse file requests from their server so hopefully using this and like I said if this one doesn't work it's not strong enough we'll put a stronger means of security in place we get the posted value of this whippet that's coming along with mem2 and mem1 from the JavaScript post mechanism. We put that in a local variable called this whippet. Then we get the session whippet variable going, which is going to have the value of base64 decode of their session whippet. So we're decoding it now. We're unencrypting it, basically. We're decrypting it. That way, it winds up to be same random number as this posted value it should be so these should match if people are using the site correctly okay I'm gonna do one more thing here just to make sure everything runs smooth and that is I'm gonna make sure that there's a posted value of this whippet we want to make sure that's not empty and we want to make sure the session is active for this user if they happen to have sat on a member's profile maybe for 15 minutes and their session went inactive then they tried to friend with that person we want to give them a message saying your session expired please refresh the browser page and try again and here's the code if sessions is not set for the whippet variable then we echo out that means their session may have expired. Uh, we echo out your session expired from inactivity. Please refresh your browser and continue. They'll see that in the add friend box on the page. Let me exit script because the session's not set. And then where I added, uh, where we had to see if any data was missing, I just added another section for checking to see if this whippet is empty which is the posted variable which is that random number so after you decode them that random number should match that and like I said there's so many ways to trick people and usually they wouldn't 
actually see the methods that you're using to try and encrypt data. But we'll run this and we'll see how it goes. All right, so I FTP'd the files up. I'm going to go to Gersing here, add his friend, and make sure everything still works with the new programming here. This user has requested you as a friend already. Ah, ha, cool. Let's try somebody else then. Let's try Joe Smith. Are you sure you want to add Joe Smith as a friend? Yes. This user has requested you as a friend already. Okay, let's try somebody. Friend request successfully. Everything is good. Okay. So we're good with the uh, low level security measure there. That might be just high level enough to keep things secure on your profiles. Okay, so there's not much left to the friend system. And you guys can see that I put, if you're logged in and you're looking at your own profile, you're going to see a link to friend requests. And that's going to be in the next tutorial where I show you how to load up the list of their friend requests so they can approve or deny them.